on again. I don't want to say, like I always say, hey, I'm back, I'm back. In fact, I might even delete that bit out. It's so, oh, it almost has become my strapline. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> because it's so long between videos and I feel the need to say something. Anyway, this is just a very short video like five minute thing whilst I'm in the car driving to my mum's because one of the reasons I haven't been making videos of late is because of basically changes in my lifestyle um, for a long time we had sort of a house full we had two of my children back home and one of them had her partner with her just temporarily whilst she was moving into her own place which was a year ago now but during that time I was a bit too busy oh there's a rainbow it's not raining how pretty very very faint rainbow Anyway, so we had them living with us and I didn't seem to find time to make videos or a quiet private space. And of course, like I said, they have moved out a year ago and my son moved out, um, what, 10 months ago? So I, what's the excuse since then? Well, obviously life is busy. Um, I lost my dad, sadly, in April my dad died from Covid. And since then we've been, my sister and I have been caring for my mum. Now we always did quite a lot for mum and dad, so what, getting older and frailer, we would go around pretty much daily, they had a visit from one or the other office every day, and we would cook a meal, a hot meal for them, and my sister would do some washing and housework. Um, but since my dad died, because my mum is completely dependent, um, we've been going around a lot more. And so I've been doing that, as well as still working, and running my own household, which is the one thing that's getting neglected. I've now become a grandmother, so I want to spend time with my grandson as much as I possibly can, and, and his parents, of course. But um, yeah, I want to see him as often as I can because as any of you who've got babies or got grandchildren will know that babies change so quickly. Excuse the speed bumps. Um, they change so quickly, and even when I'm not seeing him, I'm saying to my daughter, I want a daily photo. So life's a bit busy. Um, but I've said before, and I've thought to myself many times, I should just make videos when I'm in the car. It's, <laughs> it's when I've got time. So that's kind of what I'm going to try and do. And um, at the moment, I am in the middle of another <laughs> no spend challenge. Um, these challenges have never, they've, I've always tried to, for them to be a specific length of time. So many speed bumps on this little road. Um, but I don't usually achieve it. And yet this time, because I didn't tell myself I'm in a no spend challenge and I didn't give myself a time limit, I've actually managed really well. Um, also because I suppose I haven't had um, specific guidelines, I guess. I've just told myself I'm buying less. I don't need any more clothes. I've got far too many. I got a bit addicted to Vinted for a while there. And I realized that, you know, um, for everything I sold on Vinted, I was buying something else. And that's just not sustainable. I was just, you know, I know there's the one in one out rule, but I had far too much to start with. I started a vintage um, account in order to get rid of clothes. Another speed bump. Um, here comes another one. So yeah, I decided, you know, not buying any more clothes and I've managed to stick to that pretty well um, since I made that decision. And it's perhaps been about two months now and I've done well with that. We do a lot less grocery shopping because I'm trying to cut down on the food waste. And I think, well, don't go filling your cupboards up. We live within walking distance, really, of three um, supermarkets. In fact, there's a fourth one that I wouldn't want to walk to, but I could if I had to. So, you know, we're lucky enough. We're in a, a small town and there's plenty of uh, shops and supermarkets and things. So I can pretty much manage to not have to do that big full shop once a week and that started because I wanted to run the freezer down I couldn't close the freezer drawers properly and I said to my husband we need to empty everything out of the freezer eat it all up and then try and defrost it uh, this never happens I'm always telling him we need to do this and we never actually end up with an empty freezer but that's how that came about until it got to the point where it was almost empty and the things that were in there we just weren't eating and so it never became completely empty um, but it also was like, we haven't actually got anything really worth eating. I suppose you might be thinking, oh, chuck those things out then, or just eat them. I don't know, but you know, that's the way it was. So anyway, life's pretty good at the moment, although 
I am menopausal and I do suffer major depression because of it and I've had my antidepressants increased to help me cope with those symptoms and it's a shame because the anti being on a high dose of antidepressants meant I didn't cry when my dad died I mean I did eventually but it took me a few months and I felt bad I felt as if I should be crying and I, I told myself it's probably because I've had my antidepressants increased um, anyway I've just arrived at mum's so I'm gonna get off I'm not quite sure what the point of this video was other than for you to see my face and hear my voice again which sounds a really bizarre thing to say and it makes me sound incredibly um up myself but the reason i say it is because i put up a short recently and i had these comments just saying it's lovely to hear your voice again and it's lovely to see that you're back and so you know when i get those lovely comments that's when i feel really bad about disappearing off the channel but you know there are so many people out there doing what i started out doing Living a zero waste lifestyle or aiming for a zero waste lifestyle is incredibly popular now. And going into a coffee shop with your own cup is the norm. Whereas when I first did it, I felt a bit like a nutter. Um, so yeah, I sort of feel as if you don't really need my content, especially as it's so raw and unedited. Um, and there are people out there that do major research and have proper information and I can't really compete with them. Not that I'm into competing, but you know what I'm trying to say. I can't teach you anything new. You can find it all out there. Um, but then again, I do watch a lot of these videos. I think, well, yeah, that's not new news. <laughs> so maybe I'll just get back with little vlogs of sort of um, letting you know what's going on in my life, um, a video diary kind of thing. And I've often thought I'd like a video diary for myself because I'm not very good at doing a written diary and I'd love to look back and um, yeah, and I suppose in a way it's kind of why I started my channel all those years ago. But yeah, that's it for today. I hopefully see you again sometime soon. <laughs>